Hello Aquarius, welcome to Unseen Hands Healing. I'm Amanda and this is going to be your reading for August 2019, starting from the new moon in Leo on July 31st. So the first three cards out the gate here. We've got this over here. Four of Cups. Here you are down here. In a situation you don't want to be in, you're unsatisfied with where you are, you're looking at the cups that are all around you, maybe in your environment, maybe this is family, maybe this is work, I don't know. Um, I'm feeling family really strongly. You're looking at your family that you're surrounded with and you're not happy. You're not happy where you are and there's this like dream opportunity that, I don't, that you can't really see right now because you're facing, this figure is facing into the darker part of this card where it's harder to see. All, they, all your reality, like all you can really see is this. Op you know, open your imagination, open your mind to what other possibilities could be available to you and what spirit could be trying to bring your way. <clears throat> I was also really drawn to um, your card when looking at the Four of Cups. There's a parallel here. See the hand holding what always looks to me like a feather, but I suppose it's actually just like lightning in the shape of a feather. Could also be a cloud. But I like lightning in the shape of a feather. That's nice. So um, here's a, a uh, disembodied hand, a spirit hand, coming through with this electricity in the form of a feather, which feels like spirit to me. This is a, a and, and that parallel here with this hand holding out this cup. Something's going on in your spirit, Aquarius. And another image that I got is actually that like, rather than usually this this is talked about as a cup being offered to you i think that that could be in play but the, more specifically the image i got is actually you being pulled up out of this like your spirit almost being pulled up out because your spirit is like elsewhere does that make sense your spirit is not here your spirit is in the is in the electricity of spirit itself. I know that's a little um, heady, but that's what I'm getting here. There's grief about family. Ten of coins here. This is family. This is people working together to grow this garden especially this card feels like family because sometimes this card is just like a couple but this is lots of people um working to grow a garden inside of a very stable structure i don't think that's what you're currently sitting in it's funny i just did this and like meh, like did this position and then i realized that's the exact position that this person is in I think this is the position you're in, you know, you're sitting here and you're looking at your family situation or, or some sort of environment that surrounds you and you're like, this ain't it. This just is not it. I love these people. I love whatever. Clearly, because there's grief at the, at the thought of letting this go or grief because you're realizing this just isn't working and you really, really wanted it to, and you really, really thought that it would. Um, but I don't think that it is. It, it's like, it feels like this, like the actual phrase that, that came is like, not your family. Maybe you feel like you don't belong. Maybe that's it. Maybe you feel like you don't belong where you are, like a one of these things is not like the other. Regardless, there's definitely some grief. 
over this situation. I'm also, you know, the vagus nerve here, that vagus nerve, that, that part of your nervous system that can be triggered into fight, flight, freeze mode. Um, has been triggered, is actively being triggered by whatever this family or like environment is for you. You are actively being triggered by it and it's just like causing you such grief and such heartache. And you know what, again here, it's like, you know, your cups have been spilled here. There is still one cup in this card. It's only one cup, but it's one cup that is full. And Aquarius, I think that's you. Everything else is kind of like spilled to shit, <laughs> you know, spilt milk. But here you are, your full cup, and here's another disembodied hand of spirit. You, the, ooh, spirit's hand is all in this, Aquarius. I know that this doesn't look good. I know this doesn't feel good. But you know what? The hand of God, the hand of God, the hand of God all up in here for you all up in this you know what this is okay interesting you know how i felt like this was you being pulled out of this or like this is your spirit actually this is your spirit that's the cup that you still have you still have your spirit okay let's see what else we can get for you here what else for aquarius in the month of August. Okay. The King of Coins just dropped out. Earth energy. Big time. Sorry for the noise. Big time earth energy. This is a person, like, more than any of the other kings. This is the king sitting on their throne. Ah. Oh. I just got their rightful place. Which makes sense. One of these things is not like the other. You feel out of place here in this environment. Whatever environment you're in is like not right for you. And, and here's you feeling like, okay, I'm in the environment that is right for me. This is the environment that is right for me. This is where my spirit can create. This is where my spirit feels um, embodied because we're talking about earth. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm being drawn to this clear crystal. This person's in a cave. Okay, earth element here. And there's this clear crystal. It's like you're you're trying to get, and it's right above their head. They're trying to get, you're trying to get clarity on where you belong. You're trying to get clarity on like, where's your throne? Where's your people? Where's your family? Where's your stability? Where do you feel the most you? Because that's the thing about the King of Coins that I always really resonate with is this feeling of, um, being fully authentic in who you are and embodying who you are in every moment of every day in the work that you do in the things that you create and the people you surround yourself with you're trying to find that where do I belong the tower oh, gosh right at the heart of your reading my friend it's gonna be good. Oh, wow, okay, it's gonna be real good. Hold on, hold on, hold on, okay. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> here's the castle that you're in, the environment that you're currently in that doesn't feel right for whatever reason. And here's that lightning, your own spirit. It's your own spirit, and yes, the hand of God, like totally up in this stuff, coming in, striking this castle, striking your tower here. And yeah, it has to catch on fire, things need to fall out, everything kind of needs to, to be destroyed in order to be rebuilt into 
a place you can actually call home. People that feel like your true soul family. Okay, wow, and I just got this image with the lightning. Remember how I was feeling this this lightning so strongly and then the, the, the feeling with the Four of Cups of you being lifted out? And this is interesting. The lightning is striking and like crumbling this tower, but I think rather than falling, and yeah, some things are gonna fall, I'm actually feeling like you're being lifted out. This was similar to the Virgo reading actually, um, where I felt like Virgo was being extracted from a situation of like loneliness. I think, um, so if you have like a Virgo in your life or that feels significant, go watch that reading. But this feels like you're being pulled out. Rather, like as the lightning comes in and strikes, it pulls you out. Like pulls your spirit out of this. Out of the rubble, you will not be crushed by this rubble. No, you will not. What else for Aquarius? Yeah. The chariot, you're being moved, my friend. You are being moved. You are being moved out. You are being moved elsewhere. New direction, new path, new journey. Forward movement. Card number seven. Very spiritual number. <clears throat> Oh, ha, ha, ha. Uh, oh my gosh. Here we have the 16 that reduces to the seven. Okay, this is, this is uh, this part of your path. This is this part of your journey here is this crumbling. You are getting pulled out. Yanking you right out of there because it's time to go on a new journey. Time to go on a whole new journey. And um, and it's a very it's a very spiritual one here because I'm seeing the clouds, like all of this air in the background, Aquarius, which is gonna be great for you. <laughs> I'm seeing like room to breathe. I'm seeing lightness of being. I'm seeing um, spiritual union here spiritual reunion maybe that just came maybe with the new moon in leo on the 31st of july all right you're getting your wheels you're going you're going aquarius okay we got okay these are your these are your cards great the lovers there's a choice Choice to be made here for some of you could be a romantic situation since uh, we are looking at the lovers here. Again, I'm feeling really spiritual energy because here's another, like here's Cupid coming in with that arrow. It's like another card with the presence of spirit very strongly coming in. And um, you know, this is, this is the, the tale of the Garden of Eden and the two lovers in the garden and um, one is, it's maybe really hard to see. See this in the corner? This one lover is reaching over here for this dark orb. That's kind of like the apple. You know, you're reaching for this forbidden fruit, supposedly forbidden fruit but really that's the knowledge of self and that's the knowledge and that's the journey that you choose to go on here is one of self discovery of one of like, who am I? Where do I belong? And that requires going down into the depths of you. You know, the, this card is a derivation of, you know, number six is a derivation of 15. 15 is the devil in the tarot and the devil don't be scared by the devil just because that word is so loaded in our culture. Like the devil energy is one of breaking free, breaking free of the things that bind you, breaking free of situations that don't feel good. 
We're breaking free of that here. And part of that breaking free process means you have to choose you. You have to choose to explore your own spirit. And if a lover is willing to come with you on that journey and like that makes sense, then great. Then they choose their own fruit and, and you can go on your deep dives here. But I, and I'm, I'm feeling really strongly for somebody that that's what you, sorry, I'm getting, um, an overall trajectory here that that's what you need. That's the choice here. Like once you choose you and you choose to follow where you fit and where you belong and like go on that journey, that new journey, move towards that, then here you you have the potential for equal love. More on that anon. Ace of coins. Again, spirit with the bird, with the halo, dropping in with a coin, dropping in with a new opportunity, new chance. Are you going to take it? And it's beautiful coming out under this five of cups and tower. So with this like grief and total change up and explosion, just, you know, um, massive change comes a new opportunity flying in. And I think it has to do with love because we got the lovers here and we've also got the page of cups. I love this page of cups energy. Um, this beautiful flow. I mean, like, look, it just makes me want to. Okay. Um, it's got this flow energy. It's got, see, see up here, these two tulips. It's a card of falling in love. It is. It's a. It's um, maybe even a reunion because I, I did sort of feel that earlier, like a spiritual union. <clears throat> spiritual union, spiritual reunion. Could be past life stuff we're talking about. I don't know. But this, look at this being is so free so free and open-hearted look there's nothing blocking your heart there's free flow of emotions free flow of the heart outpouring yeah there's love here to be found oh haha -ha. okay go with me so when you eat of the fruit when you say yes to knowing yourself in that way to to learning the truth about who you are, you go on this journey down into the deep caves of yourself. And when you are in the deep caves of yourself, my friend, that's where that's where you fall in love. So this could very well be a card of falling in love with yourself. The lover's energy has that for sure. Um, but it does feel like, especially with um, the ace of pentacles coming in in between, that there is a 3D opportunity for you to fall in love I think but first perhaps you fall in love with yourself mm. wow this reading is so beautiful Aquarius what do we want to use for clarity the Aquarian tarot wants to come through since you're Aquarius and I'm cheesy like that <laughs> okay <laughs> What do I want to clarify first? I think let's start with the Four of Cups. Feeling dissatisfied, feeling out of place. Yeah, that's about to end. That has got to end, my friend. Whatever this is, whatever the situation is, it's time for it to be done. Once and for all, done. No more feeling like this. Whatever environment this is, whatever like family situation, it is going to come to an end. And here we have the grief from that. So yeah, when this ends, there is going to be a grieving process, of course. But that's got, that cycle that you've been in for so long has got to come to an end because it's just not sustainable for anybody. 
involved in the situation, least of all you. Okay, so let's get some clarity on the Ten of Coins. Why is the Ten of Coins here for Aquarius? Well, okay, so yeah, the Nine of Pentacles just slid right out. To me, this is pointing even more to the fact that like, My intuition on this is telling, is showing me you sticking out. Here's a group and you're sticking out. This is solo energy, not the nine of pentacles. This is someone that's like, not necessarily lone wolf, although maybe a little lone wolf. Venus in Virgo, <laughs> you know? Hey, um, my Venus is in Virgo, sorry. Okay. Um, so I love this card, but it is, it is sort of lone wolf energy. Like here you are kind of just talking to your spirit, you know, talking to your higher self with the bird and the two of you are co-creating to, um, make your own life. This is someone stepping into singlehood. So maybe you are separating from this family dynamic or from this environment that's not working for you. And you're stepping into a more single solo energy which I think is where you've been anyway, because you, you know, you've been trying to fit and, and you just don't. And so you're stepping into a more solo journey, a very spiritual solo journey. I'm telling you, like I see spirit just coming in and like whew, taking you on this solo journey where you really start to talk to yourself. You really start to talk to spirit and commune with spirit, co-create with spirit, because you are about to lay some foundations for yourself that actually give you, you know, because it's like once you know who you are, then you're going to attract or be able to more easily um, connect with people who actually are your soul family. What's next? I think I got to ask about the King of Coins before we go for the Tower. Page of Swords. Something about the way you communicate. Um, Page of Swords feels like, like public, more public communication, like sharing your knowledge, sharing the things you're passionate about, sharing the things that you love. Um, and so I think that's part of finding your identity. It's like you find where you belong through sharing your passion, communicating your passion, communicating the things you know, sharing your knowledge, if that makes sense for someone. Okay, let's clarify the tower. What's this tower moment here at the center of the reading for Aquarius? Yep, going solo, pal. Here's that hermit energy. Um, it's more Virgo energy. So it could be that there's a Virgo involved here that is part of your tower moment. But this, this Virgo energy, the hermit, is going inside. It's going within. It's, it's getting, getting internal. <laughs> um, going on a solo journey. It's like the monk going on a spiritual quest up the mountain alone in order to discover what they need to discover, truths about themselves, truths about the universe. Whatever this tower moment is, it's gonna send you on this hermit journey. Let's see if we can get anything else about the tower. The tower. Interesting, Knight of Cups. I like this card for you too, Aquarius. So this is um, actually more of this Page of Cups energy, but actively expressing your heart, actively expressing your heart to someone, actively expressing your emotions in a compassionate way, being able to share your heart the Knight of Cups always feels like, um, you know, the, the romantic knights of the round table, those types of stories sort of riding in to save the day or like, um, and, and with like very 
genuine passion and, and really genuine heart and genuine emotions. That's what I'm feeling from this card. Um, it could be someone else riding in with some genuine emotions and genuine heart to share with you. That could bring the tower moment. I don't know. Can we get a little bit of more clarity on that, please? <laughs> yeah, more emotional expression. The King of Cups and the Six of Swords. So, okay, I think what's happening here is this tower moment is moving you into... So, the Six of Swords is, is a card of transition, this is a major transition. This could be a physical move. This could be traveling. This could be um, just like a more spiritual transition. Like you're actually, because I keep feeling that for you, like your spirit is transitioning in some really big way. So you're making this move from rocky waters to calmer waters. You are, you are going, getting on the boat to a safer shore. And that safer shore is... I mean, maybe literally with a Virgo, but it, but that safer shore is like this, that journey is the solo internal journey. And that safety is about being in a space where you feel free to express your emotions. That's the King of Cups expressing your emotions. Same with the Knight of Cups expressing your, expressing your heart, especially romantically. You need to move into a space where you feel safe to do that. And I don't think that that's true where you currently are, which is why this tower moment is coming and pulling you out. So where are you going? What's the chariot here for Aquarius? <laughs> cups, 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 cups. Love Aquarius. What a heartfelt reading. Page of Cups, Page of Cups. So, um, again, I kept feeling like a spiritual union for you. Spiritual union, here it is. This is a card of emotional expression and, uh, and emotional expression of a very creative and unusual maybe and spiritual nature because here we've got this person talking to the fish, you know? <laughs> it's like... Sometimes being connected to your intuition in a very deep way almost feels like you're talking to fish. You know, it feels like you're being guided, being connected to spirit in that way, being connected to divine guidance. It kind of feels like, oh my gosh, I'm this, this nut job over here talking to fish. But that, that's what it feels like when your intuition is your guide. And so here you are connecting with your intuition, which then helps you connect with someone else who is also connected to their intuition in the same way. That's what I feel. I keep feeling like this is, this is like two people who are the same meeting. And it actually, I keep like feeling like a kid. It feels like you're going to be, you're getting totally renewed. I feel your spirit just being like rinsed out. <laughs> like um just like bathed in the waters like bathed in the river of god of of spirit of renewal and that renews your heart and it may happen through this relationship because i just keep being drawn to these two swans um but either way, it's like really a reunion, a new direction that is allows you to reunite with yourself in a, and reunite with your spirit. And potentially another spirit <laughs> because we have some love looking stuff down here. Okay, so the lovers, why is the lovers here for Aquarius? The world, okay, okay. So this decision, because the lovers is also very much about choice. You know, do you choose to eat of the fruit or not? Do you choose to stay in the garden or not? What do you, you know, um, I think it's sort of both because the world card is, is both. It is both an ending and inherently a total new beginning. 
because this is the last card in the major arcana. When you get to the last card, you start back over at the beginning. And I just saw 333. Wow. Okay. 333. Three. Threes. A card of spiritual awakening. A card of also receiving abundance. That's Empress Energy. The second half of our year here as we transition this is a hard transition oh my god so i think like here's our here's the transition into the empress half of the year it's like here's your hanged man half of the year and here's your empress half of the year does that make sense um and and you get into your empress half of the year with an ending i think i think uh we had the Ten of Swords up here with the Four of Cups. I think you are ending this situation that you are in. Or you are certainly, that's certainly a potential energy that's present in this reading at this time. Is for you to, something to come to an end with your current situation. So that you can start a new beginning. And that's the choice that you're presented with. So new. speaking of new beginnings, we're going right into the Ace of Coins. What's the Ace of Coins doing here for Aquarius? Okay, Four of Cups wanted to come out again. Seven of Pentacles. Waiting energy. Stuck. Waiting. You know what, though? Hold on. So, uh, okay. You're being offered something here from Spirit. Here it is, flying in. Flying in to save the day in, in your um, shitty board life here. <laughs> Sorry, that was rude. Um, and, and this is a seed, okay? The Ace of Pentacles is a seed that's coming in and going to be planted for you to grow a garden, a whole garden that can feed you and your family and other people But it's like there's there's a little bit of time that needs to go by before this opportunity can totally come to fruition. I mean, I imagine that's true, especially if you are making a choice to end a situation and there's the tower moment. There's going to be some fallout from that before you can start this new journey. What else can we get for the Ace of Coins for Aquarius? Ooh, baby the energy that just came out of this is so beautiful there's so much love on the board for you Aquarius so this new opportunity I think is with someone that embodies the Queen of Cups energy so this could be uh, there's a couple ways this could go this could be just with you all right that the new opportunity is for you to really connect because there's so much about you connecting with your emotions i think we've got every royal cups on the board for you right now so this is the final one which is the internal piece of the puzzle the queens are internal this is a um this is someone who is fully in their intuition and is the high priestess is a deeply intuitive being very connected to their emotions connected to their intuitive being their spirit and this is a card of unconditional love the new opportunity here is for unconditional love whoa okay so I am feeling like this could be another person since it's down here in between some love cards I am sort of feeling like maybe there's a queen of cups in your midst or that is about to be in your midst and it's, look at the blooming. Oh my goodness. It's very sweet energy. Very, very, very sweet when the time is right. And it's like with that Queen of Cups watering your garden, you can, you can really um, plant and nurture a seed that is going to sustain you. Okay, the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here for Aquarius in August? Page of Cups. Why is Page of Cups here? The Messenger of Love. Okay. 
getting you out of feeling trapped. You're feeling trapped when you're not. All right. You're, you're not trapped. You feel trapped. You feel trapped. I think this Page of Cups energy is getting you out of that. And really fast <laughs> because here's the Knight of Swords fastest moving energy in the tarot coming in like a bat out of hell with some truth with some truthful information mm. maybe maybe you feel trapped because you feel like love is not possible for you you feel like this kind of love is not possible for you, does not exist for you. That's why you just sort of like stay in this situation that's not completely satisfying. Hmm. But the Knight of Swords is rushing in to tell you, yes, it is possible. Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords. What else for the Page of Cups for Aquarius? death so so does not have to be literal death all right it's transition transformation we have the six of swords also getting on that boat going to to safer waters this is the transition this is the transformation i think the belief that that kind of love does not exist for you is what needs to transform and i think some some swift communication is coming in to show you otherwise to show you that this is not true this is not the truth this is the truth. This is the truth. Could be, you know, the the Knight of Swords coming in quick with this new opportunity. Could be an opportunity of like working working together because we have pentacles here i don't know where that just came working you're working you're growing a garden together you're doing something together okay one more mm. no we're good we're good on clarity we're gonna move on to this shadow deck here okay so the el goliath deck these are um really beautiful cards that talk about shadow energies of the tarot cards and they help with shadow work so actually check this out this is called um the shadow cat hidden inner strength i really like that because um it's a good ex explanation a good visual explanation for shadow work so all the shadow work is is just um looking at places that you fear about within yourself you know in yourself in situations in your life looking at the harder things to look at essentially but what you discover when you look at those things that's also the journey I described with the lovers eating of the fruit taking that journey to go down within and face parts of yourself that maybe you're afraid of you come out such a powerful being you realize how powerful you are that, that what but there's so much power in the places within you that you fear. There's so much power there. That's where your power lies. So that's shadow energy. We're going to choose a, a shadow card for Aquarius. What's the shadow card that Aquarius can take in at this time? <laughs> the moon. It says, the silver shadow reflector. Nice. So perhaps, um, I know this is a full moon here, but perhaps with the new moon, since that's our next big moon coming up, there's an opportunity for you to sort of gaze into the mirror that is the moon, gaze into that emotional mirror and, and really see yourself in a different way. This is also a card of intuition and going within. Here's that. It's almost like the priestess showing up for you again in this reading. Looking in that mirror. 
going with this. This is such a mirror image. Almost like I'm um, scrying, you know? That's your key. That's the key that you need to, to um, see your shadow, I think. It's interesting because the new moon, this new beginning, in the new moon, <clears throat> the moon is in shadow. We can't see her surface even though she is there. So I think that is the time to go within and, and go to those more shadowy aspects. Even though the full moon, you know, and maybe it will take this whole moon cycle for you to get there. And then and then on the, the full moon following this new moon is when you can see everything a little more clearly. Moon energy. Moon energy is here for you big time. Okay, let's get a little Octospamen reflection advice for Aquarius. Um, interesting. Okay. Yeah. First card, choose between the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. Okay. What this is really speaking, I mean, maybe discipline or regret is something that is resonating for you. Regret feels really potent for this card. Being in this energy, sort of like staying in a life that's not right for you, that's, that's you know, fuel for regret. For sure. Um, but it's more, to me, speaking about the choice choose between choose what kind of life do you want for yourself and then here we have live learn adjust repeat i love this card because it speaks of this cycle that we are all on we live we learn we adjust we repeat and it feels like the world card that came out under that choice the lovers here we have the cycle a major cycle of learning is ending for you, right? You, uh, whatever lessons you're learning through this, you're done. You don't have to learn anymore. You, you learned those lessons, you make the adjustments, and then, yeah, you do repeat. Not that you have to repeat the same lesson necessarily, hopefully. Not with the world card. That is like really the ending of this cycle for you, but life keeps going. Life keeps repeating. This, this is like reincarnation to me, you know? This is, um, we come back and we live more and we learn more and we adjust more and then we do it again, you know? This is that, that big cycle. Okay, so I think you're in a major, major transition here, Aquarius. Let's get some advice for you from the beautiful Botanical Tarot by Kevin J. Stanton. What's the major arcana advice for Aquarius? Mm -hmm. Okay, the chariot again. Mr. Shumflowers, here you are. I'm being drawn to the fact that nasturtiums, not only are they beautiful flowers, but they're something that you can actually eat. They're delicious, they're very spicy, they taste good, all right? So you are moving on to a new chapter of your life, and to me it's like something that not only looks good, but it's something you can really eat. <laughs> you know, it's like something tasty too. Um, something that gives you like spice, vitality, renewal, such renewal energy that I'm getting here with this chariot movement for you. Yeah, you are you are in forward motion mode, my friend, moving into a new phase of your life. It's big. It's very big. Um and it's going to be really really beautiful. So, Aquarius, thank you for joining me. If this is resonating with you, please click the like button helps us work with the algorithm and get this out to other Aquarians that need to see this. Um, subscribe to my channel so that we can stay connected moving forward. Um, and you know, we'll have the, the mid August videos up in about two weeks. If this is 
your reading. If this feels like I'm talking to you and you want to dive deeper into how this is playing out in your specific life, in your specific scenario, please let me know. Um, there's a link down below to my website. You can go check out all of the details for booking a personal reading with me. Um, you can also join my Patreon. That's a community that I have, um, an online space on Patreon where um, there's lots of other resources available for you as well. But if this is resonating, you want a personal reading, click the link below. We'll take you over to that and get that done for you. So thank you, Aquarius, for watching. Please take care of yourself during this major transition. And I wish you all the best.